say hi to Ethan the plumber. His customers say he's a real drip. Ethan, talk to me. They say he's a drain expert, good at draining their wallets. I haven't seen him since he took my money. A plumber driving his customers plumb crazy with excuses for not showing up. He said he got a bad sunburn. Ethan McCarge, licensed plumber or sump pump chump. He's just a bad character when it comes to doing work. Hey, hey, dude, talk to me. Are you kidding me? This is Ethan McCarge on Facebook. He's got a cool nickname, Ethan Matt. The guy likes cars, but cruising Facebook seems to be how he gets his customers for his plumbing business. I post that on Facebook if there's any plumbers or someone who has experience could come out and tell us what was going on. So Ethan replied with his company page saying he would give us a free estimate. Isabel and her boyfriend just bought their first house, but they had problems with the sump pump. They paid Ethan $3,200 to replace it. Instead, Isabel says Ethan just broke up their cement basement, made excuses, and finally never came back. I'm in college and my boyfriend's a firefighter. We b both work hard for our money and to lose all that money was hard on us. I gained the check on June the 5th of last year, 2020. Holy smokes, that's a long time. A check for $1,900. That was a down payment for Ethan to put a bathroom in the basement of Don's Taylor home. He had an excuse that his mother got sick. I said, okay, I understand. Then he had an excuse that he was at Bell Tire all day. He had a flat tire. Mm. So I said, okay. And then he had somebody pass away in the family, and he had to leave state for a little bit. I said, okay, you know, I was working with him. Once in a while, Ethan would come by and do a little work, but he had a lot of excuses for not finishing. These are real messages he sent to Don. His mom fell down the stairs. He was waiting for his test results, making sure he didn't have COVID. Hey, Don, I'm running behind. I had a buddy of mine to get killed, wrapping up funeral arrangements. I'll be coming over, trying to get my alternator replaced. Hey, buddy, I'm still coming over. Just so you know, just wrapping up with my bank at home wall. Ethan had a broken tie rod on his car. And finally, I'll be over. I'm heading over to pick the girlfriend up from colonoscopy. Now that's a buttload of excuses. And this is as far as the project got. I wish I could talk better, better about him, but I can't. I started watching Ethan. He drives around in this big truck. There's no sign advertising his Bacar's plumbing on it. And in fact, there's not even a license plate. And according to the Secretary of State, Ethan doesn't even have a valid driver's license. It's suspended. If he's got a plumbing license, I sure can't find a record of it. But that's okay, I guess, because I never saw him do any plumbing. The closest he actually came to doing anything other than hang around with his race car buddies or waiting in a long line at the smoothie drive through was making what appears to be a sales call. But even then, he never pulled out a pipe wrench or a plunger. After a few minutes, he was back on the road doing nothing. And absolutely nothing is what he did for Goldie. I trusted him. Last September, Goldie posted on Facebook that she wanted a whole house emergency generator installed. McCarge Plumbing responded. Goldie paid Ethan $3,200 down payment on the purchase and installation of the generator. Well, he said he was licensed. But getting Ethan the plumber to do the job was just a pipe dream. His first excuse was that he had to go to Port Huron to pick up the generator. Port Huron's 100 miles away from Goldie's Dearborn Heights house. Seems like Metro Detroit would have lots of generator places nearby. Then Goldie got this text. I've been in bed the last couple of days with really bad allergies. Then I've been in bed all day with food poisoning. By November, he was still making excuses. Sorry, I've been sick in bed with the flu. After Christmas, Ethan tells her, We've already had this conversation about the truth. The truth is I have the generator. It's hard to do anything when I have COVID for the second time. Then I lost all my contacts. In February, not ignoring you, sitting in the hospital dealing with the current situation. By April, Goldie still didn't have her generator or her $3,200. How does that make you feel? Embarrassed. I, I'm mad. I just feel bad all over. I saved up for this. And she wants this plumber flushed out. That's why I called you, Rob. All right, well, I'm going to get him. Hey, Ethan. How's it going? How are you? How are you feeling today? You all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Well, how come you never did this job for this lady Goldie last year? You kept telling her you were sick all the time. 
You took $3,200 from her to put in a generator? What happened with that? Ethan, talk to me. Hey, hey, dude. Talk to me. Are you kidding me? What about Isabella and Don? Talk to me, man. You don't have a driver's license, Ethan. Hey, Ethan, looks like your plumbing career has gone down the tubes. You're in the Hall of Shame. I called Ethan on the phone after he ran. He hung up on me. Ethan showed up at Goldie's door that night and promised Goldie he'd pay her back, but so far, he hasn't. But, you know, Rob, you have to wonder why these people wouldn't use sites like Angie's List and Pro Helper, Home Advisor, to find the plumbing work they need to have done. People trust this Facebook marketplace, and to be honest, Facebook marketplace has kind of turned into the Craigslist of uh, today, I suppose. And, uh, but you know, the other thing is, is that when you got a plumbing emergency and you trust your friends on Facebook and then some plumber contacts you and he's got a good line and he says he's gonna come out and do it, I don't know. You know, you, you take a chance whenever you hire some of these home contractors and sometimes they just turn out to be bad guys like Ethan. So you can't really blame the consumers. It's the bad guys that are taking advantage of everybody.